Hey, and welcome to alchemist.camp, where we learn elixir by building things. Today we're going to build out a bit more of the alchemist.camp website, which, as you may recall, has been built entirely on YouTube. Today's task is pretty straightforward. We're going to take the StatWatch module we built last time that logs stats from YouTube and Alexa and records them regularly and just make it a sub-application of the campsite application. And since it's an OTP app, it's super simple to do that. So let's take a look at the code. First thing we gotta do is just copy the files. So StatWatch is here, campsite is here. They are in parallel directories. We'll just copy StatWatch into campsite. On Windows, the way to do a recursive copy is with xcopy. I'll use the flags everything and include hidden files and directories. I'll just copy StatWatch to campsite slash StatWatch. There we go. And then inside our new StatWatch project in campsite, we've got to do a couple things. First thing is we've got to change the directory where the stats are written out to. We probably want to put it in the priv directory of our website, which you can see here. So I think we'll put it in priv static and make a new directory called stats. So this is now going to go to priv static slash stats and the name of the CSV and the base that we'll be working from is actually the campsites base directory because the app will be loaded up with campsite Okay, save that change in campsite we've got to add statwatch as an application so we'll open up the mix file and uh, since we are using extra underscore applications, this is a newer syntax. You don't have to specify every single application. Cowboy, for example, just gets included and started up automatically since we've got the depths. And we will do the same thing with StatWatch. And StatWatch is available locally. We're not grabbing it from our repo. So we use the path argument. And the path is simply StatWatch. Okay, we'll give it a try and see if it starts up from the campsite directory. ex.bat-s mix. We'll probably have to get depths. Oh, I've already got the depths. All right observer.start is a good uh, visual way to see what's going on. All right, so we have uh, various applications running. We have campsite, cowboy is running, ranch, and statwatch is running. And you can see it has one child, uh, which is unnamed, and that's that's the scheduler. And were we to kill this, then StatWatch would restart it, or StatWatch to die, then Campsite would restart StatWatch. Good deal so far. Let's see if the file was correctly, it was. And the last bit of housekeeping is just to make it so that these files are available from the web server. And we'll open up application.ex. Okay, so we've got to add another static route for our stats. And we'll just call this one stats. And it goes to static slash stats. Already got all the routes there. That should be enough. Let's restart it. And then we'll check the web browser. So localhost 8080. All right, we'll go to stats. And it returns a response, but it doesn't do the directory listing because we haven't built that kind of functionality. And alchemist.csv. It's there. Open it up. 
and beautiful subscribers, videos, views, unranked on Alexa. Okay, so as you can see, adding an OTP application as a sub application of an existing OTP application is trivial. All we really had to do was just go into the mix file and add it as a DEP. And since we're using extra applications, it got added automatically, gets started automatically when we start our application. And everything else was just uh, fiddling with a few directories and paths so that uh, it would actually be visible from our server. So hope you've enjoyed this lesson. I hope you find upgrading sites that you're managing as simple as it has been to upgrade this one. And I think I'll deploy it right now. Deploy. I upgraded Erlang locally, so this may take a little bit of time. I upgraded Rebar too. This wraps up today's lesson. If you enjoyed it, how about you build something? Read some Yo Dog memes. Put apps in your apps. Have some fun with it. Enjoy the wonderful bounty that is Erlang VM at OTP. Happy coding until next time and see you tomorrow.